Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I hope you're doing well. Sending you the purest of love and light wherever you are. God is for us. Who can be against us? We are blessed. We are highly favored. We are on top and we're going higher. I just want you to know that and to keep reminding yourself of how blessed you are. How blessed you are and how loved you are. You're loved. God loves you. I love you. Sending you the purest of love and light wherever you are in your corner of the world. May God continue to richly bless and keep you. May you always walk in peace. And may his presence rest, remain, and abide with you always, always, always. He promised he will keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because we trust him all right so let's get into the message the first card that came up it says talk is cheap so for a lot of you a lot of us we have dealt with people who have grandiose ideas big plans you know they said they, they have they're gonna do this they're gonna do that and it never come to pass. They were going to settle down, married to you. It never happened. They're going to start the business. Never happened. They borrow money. They're going to pay you back. Never happened. They never came through. Talk is cheap. And it's so funny because then the next card that come up, it says action speaks louder than words. Absolutely. So for a lot of you, you're like, you're from the show me state. When I meet people... And, you know, if you, if you love me, don't tell me, show me. Because I know what it is like to be unloved. So don't tell me, I'm, uh, you know, it's like you're used to people saying they, they love you, they're kind. But you see the opposite of that in their actions. So it's like for a lot of you, you just want the real. Give me the real deal. I'm tired of the fake and the phony. It's like if you can't be upfront, if you can't be man or woman about it, then don't just don't be about it at all. Don't make promises that you cannot keep. Yeah, so for a lot of you, you were like a lamb to the slaughter. So you were innocent. You know, it's like you meet people, whether it's in your workplace going out on the highways, the byways, and the marketplace, and you come across people, and you probably don't want to judge. And for whatever reason, you probably felt okay to engage with this person on whatever level, romantic or platonic. And it's like your innocence, your pureness is like people took advantage of that. You are a lamb to the slaughter. It's like evil men and women who would go inside of a church to say they're looking for a wife or a husband only because they know that people who go to those environments, they are like more vulnerable. They let their guards down. They trust easily. So it's like they led you you know, it's like they, they string you along by telling you lies. Whatever lies people told, but they just did not live up to their promise. They didn't live up to their promises there. Wow. So you are you are you're about it, you know, action, not a bag of mouth. So this is for some of you your Cinderella story. One size does not fit all, from rags to riches. So for a lot of you, like I said, people may have promised you this big thing of what they're going to do. You know, I'm going to let you travel the world. I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you that. I'm going to be the man, the woman that you want me to be. I am going to pull these strings to open this pathway for you to advance your career. And it just didn't come through. It's like this Cinderella story did not come through the way that you dreamt about. It's like this person sold you a false narrative. A lot of you, a lot of us who have been in 
toxic relationships that fail. You were lied to. People tell you, give me six months, give me three months. I'm going to be better. I'm going to do this. And they never came through. Because they cannot, their word, they don't realize their, their words, it's, their word is a contract. It's a bond that shows your integrity, that develops trust. For those of you who have children and then you have that other parent who promises every week, I'm going to pick them up or, you know, come to visit and they never show up. Talk is cheap. It's like they end up breaking your heart, breaking the child's heart. Some people, they come across you and I see the one size does not fit all here. You know, some people, they lie. Like, remember, if you remember the Cinderella story where the guys were walking around the king's servants to see who the shoe whom it would fit. You have the wicked stepsisters who they were trying so hard to squeeze their, their feet into the shoe. But it's like it couldn't fit them. So a lot of people, you know, it's like they want to sell you a dream. You know, like, yeah, you know, it's okay. I'm going to, when you already know that you see what they're doing. They're lying to themselves and they're also lying to you as well. Wow. So a lot of you, it's more, I think you're realizing more of the people who are around you what they are doing what they're up to and it's like you're catching on to their games again the devil nothing is new it's the same old tricks it's just whitewash painted a different color you know it may be you notice you're attracting sometimes the same people but it's the same kind of energies who are liars they can't hold up to their the bargain. All that glitters is not gold. Absolutely. So it's the false narrative that people want to sell you. You know, it's like they're pointing, oh, the sky is blue. They want you to believe it's blue when there is it's pure clouds up there. It's gray up there. There is no blue. So it's like, you know, don't, don't, don't mislead me. Don't misguide me. Yeah, a lot of you, you're realizing the dummy membership is over. You are no longer dumb, stupid to the games and the tricks of the enemy. You are not that naive or gullible anymore because you realize that people take your kindness for weakness. They never come through, but they expect you to come through because of your innocence, because of your pureness. Yeah, a lot of these people who lie to you, they're getting bad karma. Bad karma. This card, it says same mess, different kind of day. So it's like every day they tell you some kind of lie. It's like it's the same madness, it's just a different day. They are the same thing. They're up to no good. They're up to no good. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Given money, lamb to the slaughter, the dummy membership is over. A lot of these people, they, don't, they have their hands out. Like I said, they beg, borrow money, they don't pay back. They tell you lies, they don't come through because they always want to just have their hands out, you know, to you to give, give to them all the time. And this is well for a lot of you, you catch on to people's games now. And you realize that they really don't want to do anything better. Oh, I'm going to start looking for that job. I'm going to invest more into my company. Or, I'm, you know, but they'd never do it. They just talk about it because they know it sounds good. They know that it's what you want to hear. Yeah, these people are forcers. They force things onto you forces their way in uses force to get what they want absolutely talk they try they think that they can talk their way through or out of everything these people they think that they are smart you know that they're scammers 
It's like they tell you sweet little lies, sweet nothing, just so that they can get what they want from you. And it's like they may even be smiling, but it's like they're serious. They are not giving up. This is why it's a forcer. They want you to believe them, what they're saying, the lies that they're telling you. They want to convince you so bad. And I'm telling you, a lot of these people, because they used you, you were innocent. You trusted these people with your heart and they abused it. They were only there to use you. This is why a lot of these people are mad. This is why they're mad. Some of these people, it says screenshot, getting evidence, proof, facts. So maybe while they were with you, they could have been stealing your ideas, trying to come up with ways how they can blackmail you. Because if they're, if they're, if they're coming all the time with their hands out for money, they want to get dirt on you. So then that they can have it over your head. Because they know maybe at some point you're going to catch on because every day is the same thing. Same mess, same mess, different day. So while you're with them, for those of you who are in this situation right now, you have to be careful how you're having conversations with people, how you're engaging with them. People want to take pictures of you in vulnerable positions so that they can have this over your head. This is the only action they will take of how they can screw you over pretty much. Yeah, a lot of these people, they're spiritual haters. Hate on your spirituality, light, magic, and power. So they really don't love you. They love the fact that they can use you though because you're like a lamb to the slaughter. They're actually looking at you as a dummy. Because the fact that the dummy membership is over, you finally decide to put your foot down and cancel that membership, cut up that card. No more. I'm not going to allow myself to be used or mistreated by manipulators or liars. People who only gaslight, you know, they have this big plan, but big talk, but they have no nothing to back it up. It's like enough. These people, they could even lie that they, they are a believer. They are angelic, but they are lying. They really don't support what you support. They don't love your light. They hate on your light, the magic, your charisma, and the power that you carry. This is why they want to take from you all the time. And this is why if, you're, if you have any form of influence or where they think that you have something more than them or they have any hint or idea that one day you may go big or something, then this is why they're trying to get evidence on you so that they can use it against you. They're really not your friends. This is why they have to lie. Every day they have to come up with a lie. Because when people are genuine and authentic, you don't need to lie. You know your word is your bond. These people are time wasters. They're stuck. They're not changing. They're limited. All they know is the gift of gab. That's it. You know, that's all it is. They just bloviate all day. Hot here. Yes, a lot of these people, like I said, they're crying over you. They're sad, hurt, they're upset because you're finished with it. You're done with the nonsense. You realize that they were playing you. So some of you, you may be feeling even this kind of energy because they're pushing that. They're projecting that on you. Return it to sender. That's not your portion. So a lot of them, they're sad. They're sad, especially if they didn't, they weren't successful in getting the screenshots and recording you. You know, it's like they know that it's over, it's finished. These people are fake. They believe in all that glitters. 
They just want to be in the limelight. They want to hang out with you. They just want to be in your company for clout. Because you provide for them, you take care of them, you make them look good. So they're all about the glitz and the glamour, the limelight, the camera, action, that's it. And they're getting bad karma. They are reaping bad karma. A lot of these people, they're very sad in the background. Yep. Some of them, they caught a case. They have some form of infection, disease, rash, or etc. too. Because some of these people, they, they'll do things for money. Yep, they're groupies. They're groupies. They hang out together. You know, they are time wasters. So a, a lot of these people, they're going through bad karma at this time too. Some of these people could have even called child services on you. Or they're going to face this. Abuse and neglect as well. Some of them, they're going bankrupt. Yep, and they're stalking. They're watching. A lot of these people, they are wolves in sheep clothing. Yep, see with the investigation... They were digging for dirt, looking for dirt on you. Because they want evidence. And this is why a lot of these people, you have to be careful of those people coming back for the past, from the past, because they want to catch you in compromising positions so they can ruin you for life, sabotage you for life. You have to be careful. Yeah, they are impersonator. They want to be like you, act like you, dresses like you, look like you, and they copy you. So it's like you're really hanging with haters. These people are haters. They have no identity. They want to be like you, but they don't like you. And some of them, they want you back. And they may be telling you, trying to scare you like scarcity tactics. Oh, if you leave me, who said that it's going to be better there? You know, why are you going to leave me? Pretty much they want to guilt trip you. But a lot of you, you are this king or queen rising here. You're stepping into your power. Praise. You're coming up in the spotlight. So divine wants you to keep focus. Keep going. The dummy membership is over. You know, it's like, take the lessons. It doesn't mean that everybody that we meet are going to be out there like this. You know, sometimes those karmic people that we meet, they were just there in our life to teach us a lesson again. Because for where you're going, new levels, new devils, we need to be smarter so that we don't fall for the same tricks. We can quickly decipher people who are authentic from those who are are not when somebody come with this fast talking you know no action kind of thing is like you can recognize that spirit and you avoid those people so a lot of them now have become obsessive lovers they're dangerous toxic they're unhealthy they're possessive, they're karmic. They were just in your life to teach you a lesson. They were supposed to learn a lesson too, but a lot of them, they don't. Or they refuse to learn a lesson and move on, grow, stand on their own feet, but no. And it's so funny how I use with even church with a spiritual hater there, you know, and when I said earlier how you have men or women will go inside the church to look for a partner because they know that you're innocent, where in, in, in truth, you know, it's like when I see this card here, cloud hungry, says anything, does anything, they make trash up, they are very dramatic, they make up mess. They'll say anything, do anything to stay in your good grace. They're cloud hungry. So it's like they will put on any mask to make you think. They will talk 
the talk. You know, they'll use the lingo of your faith to make it seem as if they are that just because they want to pull you in so that they could use you. But we saw the card, there are wolves in sheep clothing. They are fake. But then these people, they become obsessed, toxic. They are unhealthy. They don't want to let go. Yeah, fake smiles, fake smiles, no facts, never have the facts. They make things up, they lie. That's what they do. Again, anything, anything to stay in their, in, in your good grace, anything to stay in their position, that's what they will do. Moving on. So a lot of you, you're saying, thank you, next, you're moving on. And they are holding grudges. They are grudge holders. They are upset. They are angry. Again, they are obsessive. They are toxic. They are crying over you. But, you know, it's a way for everybody to grow. They did a lot of things to you too that you are crying over. And to be honest with, with you, if a lot of these people had their way, how they had it scripted, Again, but God, if God did not show up on time in your situation to roll the scale off so that you could see these people true color, they would have taken you to the cleaner because the fact is that they're a hater. They hate on your spirituality. They don't like your light. Your light irritates their demons. Your light irritates their darkness. You're magical. You're loved by people. You're a star. Your power. Your confidence. They don't like it. So you were really walking, sleeping with the enemy. And even with the caught, caught a case here, even if it's not anything that they caught you know, having an affair with somebody, maybe for some it is, but you know, a lot of these people have spiritually transmitted disease. They have a demon that is inside of them. That's the only way because this card is over a spiritual hater. So that means they're, they're possessed, but because they're willing to fake it. And then once you find them out, they become bitter. They become obsessed. Why? Because they didn't get to finish you off. So anywhere you take it, you know, if you stay with them, they were going to take you out anyway. You leave them, they still want to be possessive and toxic. But it's about taking your power back, knowing your worth, not allowing ourselves to be abused, and used, mistreated by people who are possessed by an entity, people who are lazy, people who think they can just go around and charm, fast talk their ways out of everything, people who are groupies, they push themselves on you, they are forcers. It's like they will push themselves in, they force themselves into your life. They don't want to take no for an answer. They talk a lot. They talk fast. But there's nothing behind it. It's all clout. Just pure noise. I remember going to school, the principal would say, empty barrels make the most noise. That's what they do. Talk is cheap. Empty barrels makes the most noise. They have no facts. No actions to back it up. All they do, they go around like the wolf in sheep clothing they are, looking for innocent people who they can rope in like a lamb to the slaughter. You're easy to trust people. You're loving, you're caring. Some of them will even try to trauma bond. They know that you lost somebody. They try to see if they can relate with you. Well, we went through the same thing. So that's an icebreaker for you to let your guards down. <laughs> it's like, really, really. They know you divorce. 
They try to, again, anything. They use your religion to make it seem as if they believe like you. Only to find out that it's an you're with an imposter. You're hanging out with somebody who is just greedy, who wants you to give, give, give money to them. To feed their lifestyle. A lot of them, their group is. So it's like you're giving them money and they're hanging out, partying with their friends. While they're using you, they're out celebrating and laughing after you. And some of these people, because they use the same tricks on one person, they may come to you think they can use the same trick. But the one size does not fit all here. And they, when you catch them, you know, again, it's like they are exposed. They try to hold a grudge. They don't want to move on. Yeah, they end up trying to stalk you. Watching, obsessed. Because you catch them, you figure them out. This is the purpose we go through life. Some of them are obsessed with your Cinderella story. Not that anybody brought you out of it, but God, only God you can give credit to. You're from rags to riches. And then they see you have your stuff that you work hard for. And they will do and say anything. They will, again, we are all kind of masked. You know, but be careful. Again, screenshot, they're looking for evidence. Things they can hold against you. You know, a lot of these people, they're always partying. Always partying. Yeah, hustling, making it rain, focus on money, getting it. Yeah, that's all it is. You know, they just want to focus on money. They're hustling you. Fake accounts, fake social media accounts to spy, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. So a lot of these people, like I said, they end up spying, watching, stalking. Like you are the one who got away. It's like they didn't get to finish you off because you you canceled the dummy membership before they, they rob you blind. They took away all your money. Now everything is coming to light. You realize they're really a spiritual hater. You know, they, they have, they, they are not well spiritually. Yeah, so a lot of them will even try to cop block. They don't want you to move on to other relationships. Again, with the screenshot, people trying to dig up dirt. They're trying to hold on to you like nobody else will, will want you. And again, going back to the Carter case, some of these people will know that they are sick. They have some disease or infection or rash and they will try to come to you so that they can infect you with what they have. So that's another way of cut blocking. Some of them could even go around telling people that you have some form of infection, disease or rash so that they can block potential partners from coming to you. It sounds crazy, right? But it does happen. Yeah, because they're broke. They're broke. So they will do anything. Desperate times, you know, calls for desperate measures. They'll do anything and everything. So, wow, th this is good. I certainly hope that you enjoyed it. Um, you're encouraged. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. You know, he that hath ears to hear, let them hear. Let them hear. All right, until next time, take care and be blessed.